I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. That's right. For the record, you ain't trying to grow any stuff for you. That's right. For the record, lab on me going all the way. All the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to waste. Guys, you just saw me running my new 11.5 AR pistol from Arsenal Democracy. First thing I wanted to say, thank you to Shooting Surplus. They're the ones that provided me with this rifle. Awesome rifle, um, awesome pistol actually, and I'm very happy with it. I've recently switched from a 16 inch or 14.5 pin and welded to this. I find that this is more practical for me for home defense or uh, any other situation that I would need it in. So I'm just gonna basically go through and show you guys um, the aftermarket parts like the weapon light, the optic, stuff like that that I'm running. So let's start with the optic. The optic I'm running right now is the Aimpoint T2. For me, in a home defense situation or a bagged out gun like so, this would be a great optic for you as well because it's durable, number one. Number two, it is constantly on. I keep mine right now, it's at a nine, but at home I keep it on a 10 or 11 uh, setting because I seem to find that when I activate my weapon light in a real dark room or a dark situation, that it will um, wash out the actual optic or the dot. So I keep it on that at night. I would say you probably should too, but more or less uh, great optic, super lightweight. Um, it's sitting on a Scalarworks lower one-third mount that is also from Shooting Surplus as well as the T2, which is super nice. It's an awesome mount. It's really proven itself to me in the short time that I've used it, as well as there's guys that uh, are in more of the high-speed stuff and uh, a lot of other Instagram shooters that are using this that have awesome luck with it. All right, for a weapon light, as all rifles should have a weapon light on them or home defense guns, if it's not a range gun or just a toy, you know, toy gun you like to go out and pew pew some steel targets with, definitely have a weapon light on it if you can afford it. Streamlight makes some awesome lights. Um, they are more affordable than Surefire, but if you can, I suggest getting Surefire. They have proven themselves nothing but reliable, durable, and awesome to me. They're a little bit more expensive, but you definitely get what you pay for when you buy Surefire. So like I said, Surefire M600DF. This uh, weapon light is capable of producing 1500 lumens as well as it does have rechargeable batteries if you didn't want to just use regular batteries. It's kind of a cool option. And mounted to the uh, weapon light and my rail right here, you'll see is an Arasaka defense mount. This is the um, more or less a very cool option if you wanted your weapon light to sit real tight to the rail like so. And I really, really like that. It's only about 30 bucks on the internet, so definitely check them out. I'll put it on the link below. Uh, I've got my dual pressure pad here. This is the SR07. It uh, just basically screws into the tail cap of the M600. So I have momentary with just one touch, and then I have um, constant on with just a click of the button, which is really cool. So I can go momentary if I wanted, or constant in a situation if needed. So for the muzzle device guys, uh, I don't really, really like brakes. They're awesome for what they do and, and they really do a nice job with recoil, but I prefer a flash hider or like a compensator, uh, like this Surefire closed time war comp. Um, this came on the rifle and I'm actually kind of happy it did. I either like just the regular flash hider or something like the war comp. This is my first time with the Surefire closed time war comp and uh, I, I really do like it. It keeps the muzzle flat and doesn't really give you that concussion like a brake does. Um, which is also really nice is I, I'd have had uh, and will have a couple opportunities of a couple friends that are getting some Surefire cans and this will work with their RC2 cans. So I'll be able to run their suppressor uh, when I'm with them, which is really cool. Um, just run a little BCM grip right here, which really helps me pull the rifle into my shoulder and control that recoil very nice. For a sling, I'm running the Ferro Concept Slingster. A pretty cheap sling um, in price wise, but I'll tell you it's a very durable and very nice. Um, I've done a lot of rifle to pistol transitions with this sling and uh, it's held up really nice. Just got a QD onto the rail here. And you can get those at Shooting Surplus as well in all different colors from multi-cam to FDE, Coyote, um, stuff like that. One of the biggest parts that's super cool about this rifle and super cool for 2018 and, and 17 when they first came out, I believe they came out with the SB brace. This is the SBA3 brace. So it's fully collapsible. I can bring it all the way in up to the actual upper pretty much, as well as uh, I have the Lunar Concept Split Fix, which is like a $20, $25, $30 option that you can buy that can fix this little brace issue here that a lot of us deal with. And uh, it really does feel like a stock. 
So it really feels good in the shoulder and I'm really, really happy with it. The only thing that I really do want to do to this rifle is get a law tactical folder. And what that does is it allows you to basically collapse this stock sideways. So if you wanted to put this rifle in a bag or just really wanted to put it in some kind of case and really have it be minimalist, this is definitely an option as you can see. So that's the law folder. I really, really do want one of those. That will come soon. So if you guys want specs on this bad boy, uh, this AR Pistol 11.5 from Arsenal Democracy that I got at Shooting Surplus, I will definitely leave a link below that you can check out. Um, go check out the bolt, go check out the rail. I will say the rail is really durable as well. It's just a little heavier than other rails, but overall it really, really is nice. I have recently run this gun full auto, probably about four to 500 rounds last week. And I will tell you, it did not malfunction at one time. It ran smooth. So definitely check out my Instagram if you want to check out any clips of that. I mean, this thing, eight and eight and eight, cheap ammo from Wolf Steel to Wolf Gold, just regular ammo like Federal 55 grain. It did awesome. Supposedly this rifle is going to be running very well suppressed from what I talked to Arsenal Democracy as well as shooting surplus. This rifle runs very good suppressed as well as full auto, which is super nice. And it's just another option if you guys want something different from your BCM or your Daniel Defend. Definitely go follow shooting surplus and Arsenal Democracy on Instagram as well as my buddy Greg over at Hammer556 for doing this video for me and doing these cool clips out there, getting all those angles really being in my face, which a lot of people can't do. And it's definitely, definitely a skill you have to have to be a cameraman, especially in this sport or technically shooting sport so guys thank you very much get out to the range and train leave me a comment below let me know how you like these great shooting clips and have a phenomenal day get out and train guys for the record i'm done trying to make y'all comfortable for the record you ain't trying to grow any stuff for you for the record, lab on me going all the way. All the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to waste.